Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you the most feature-packed smartphone gimbal you will ever see. Four hundred gram payload, all the possible gimbal modes, low angle mode, magnetic fill light, and also has RGB colors. AI sensor tracking without needing to download an app, 0.91 inch OLED display, supports phone charging, 18 hour battery life, and A to B waypoint motion time lapse. This is the Hohem iSteady M6, so let's talk about it. Before we get to the juicy part, can we just appreciate how dope the design is on this gimbal? It looks stealthy, but at the same time has these cool design elements that make it stand out, especially the elements in red. It feels good in the hands, phone mount is secure, and the size is actually perfect for my taste as well. Setting it up takes no more than a couple of seconds and due to the powerful motors, sometimes even if you haven't balanced your phone perfectly, the gimbal will still operate like a champ and get you amazing results. Anyway, let's talk about the juicy part, the features. Not only does Hohemai Steady M6 have all the possible gimbal modes built into it, follow mode, lock mode, pan follow mode, POV mode, vortex mode, all of them work extremely well. Not once did the gimbal struggle even when I put it through all those crazy dynamic shots I did and even when doing small minimalistic movements it handled everything well and I was able to get most of the shots on the first try. What shocked me the most was the POV mode because usually they end up being not so smooth due to the hand movement being too quick and unpredictable but this time the POV shots were as smooth as butter. Another cool feature is low angle mode that allows you to film close to the ground even with the ultra-wide angle camera without the motors appearing in the shots. Which is awesome if you want to get those low angle shots that make things appear more dramatic and more dynamic. When holding the gimbal, just tap the front trigger four times and that's it, you're in low angle mode. No need to rebalance the gimbal or anything. If you want to get into the portrait mode, just rotate your phone on the gimbal sideways and you're all set. And what about selfie mode? Don't worry about it, just three taps and you're good to go. If you accidentally tap the trigger way too many times and your phone is in a weird position and you have no idea in which mode you are in, there's a simple solution. Just double tap the trigger and it will recenter it and then you can start again from there. Check the OLED display on the gimbal to see what mode you are in and again, you're good to go. Alright, enough talking, let's show you some awesome footage we got with this gimbal. I am a filmmaker who likes to get those cinematic shots, if you will. However, my girlfriend loves to capture those simple moments in life and that's why she was stoked to hear that the gimbal supports AI tracking and has a magnetic fill light. We decided to film a cooking livestream where Annie used the AI tracking to track her movement as she was moving through the kitchen. And the best part is, you don't need to download any apps. Just do this gesture in front of the gimbal and it'll do all the work for you. And we also visited the spot center to film ourselves doing acrobatic tricks, which was very fun. And the gimbal handled this challenge with a breeze. And then we decided to head to the old town of Riga and get some shots there. Whilst going there, I charged my phone by simply connecting it to the gimbal, no need for a power bank anymore, and got some awesome shots with my phone of Annie walking, smiling and just vibing. What I like about this gimbal is the fact that it's not only made for professionals, but also for people like Annie who simply want to capture memories, and I think that is fantastic. We had a lot of fun playing around with this tool and I can definitely see myself using this gimbal to make my productions faster, more simple and most importantly, more fun. <laughs>